In this video, we are going to paint an easy still life painting using watercolor. The reference picture used for this painting is given here and the link to this image is available in the description. Let us start by painting the background using violet mixed with equal amount of Prussian blue. The background is done using wet on dry technique. You can also use wet on wet technique. Now dip the brush in the water so that the brush contains more water and less pigment and make a stroke with that brush on the paper. Now wash the brush completely and make a stroke with that brush so that there are no hard edges for the background. I used mop brush to paint the background. To add fine details to the background, I am using a round brush. After painting the background, allow it to dry completely. Next we are going to paint the lemons using wet on wet technique. First I wet one of the lemon. Using lemon yellow pigment, I paint the first layer of the lemon. While painting the lemon, note down the highlight part and leave it as paper white. After finishing first layer, use gambo jello to paint the second layer of the lemon. The paper is still wet while painting the second layer. After painting the second layer, use brown color to paint the shadows over the lemon. Similarly, repeat the same process of painting for other two lemons. For this lemon, apply a layer of lemon yellow and be conscious of leaving paper white for the highlight. And for the darker shade of the lemon, use gambo jello. And for painting the shadow, use brown color. Near the stem, add little amount of green color. Using wet on wet technique, we are going to paint the last lemon. First, we are going to apply a layer of lemon yellow and for dark shade, use gambo yellow and don't forget to leave paper white for the highlight. I added some green to the right side of this lemon and added shadow over the lemon using brown color.
Next we are going to paint the bowl using cerulean blue which is mixed with little amount of light orange. I am using wet on wet technique to paint this bowl. For the right side of the bowl it is going to be dark and at the left side of the bowl the shade of blue is going to be light. To paint the dark shade of a pigment use less amount of water with the pigment and to have the light shade use more water with the pigment. Now paint the bottom of the bowl using the background color which is a mix of violet with equal amount of Prussian blue. Next I am going to paint inside the bowl. I am using the same cerulean blue which is mixed with small amount of light orange. After painting inside the bowl, while the paper is still wet, add shadows using the background color that is a mix of violet with Prussian blue. Now we are going to paint the brim of the bowl using cerulean blue which is mixed with little amount of light orange. While painting the brim of the bowl, note down the places where the highlights are and leave that area as paper white. The shadow of the bowl should be painted from dark to light. So first I applied cerulean blue and then I made it light by adding more and more water to it. Then I added darkest part of the shadow using the background color which is a mix of violet with Prussian blue. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. See you in another video. Until then take care. Bye bye.